It's time to worm the puppies. They're ready for their second worming. So Finn is my helper. Troopy's off mowing, as you can hear. These guys are about five weeks old. And Fern is over there guarding them. Yeah, hiding and guarding at the same time. When we walked in, she immediately jumped up and starts barking. Yeah. Okay, Finn, just grab an average size puppy. And come on out here. Can you bring her out? Yep. We gotta go weigh her. This one's my favorite. Okay. Does she have a name or do you call her anything? Not really. Oh man, she's cute. You tell them by their collars. What collar is she? She's the light blue colored one. Ooh, she's cutie. Oh yes. She's sure getting big. Okay, let's go wear. Take her into the garage, or into the, yeah, into the shop. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, you know they're getting big when they show off the sides of you. Go ahead and get up on that scale with her. Put both your feet on there. How much is it? 98.2. Okay, so then step back. You can set her down. Let the scale clear. Is it cleared now? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Make you make sure both your feet are all the way on, honey. That's not all the way on. 87.6. Okay, so now we gotta do some math. Grab your puppy. Okay. So Finn is gonna grab a puppy, bring it to me. I'll dose it. No, no, you don't need it. Oh, Brumby's barking at the pigs. Okay, Finn, grab your first puppy. The first one like that we already did, or that we already weighed? Any, any of them. They're, they all basically weigh the same. Go away! I don't want you to eat that. Okay. And after you, after we dose him, you go make sure you set him out so we know who's down and who's not. Just careful not to drop him. There you go. Good job. Look how cute they are. They're good. Who's your favorite, Angus? Um, I don't know. Probably orange. <coughs> this is their first time outside of their pen. So it'll be interesting. I guess they get out to eat, but they haven't really been out to explore. Mm -hmm. There you go. We'll see what they do when they get a chance to go explore. It's a beautiful day. Thankfully, the cold days are pretty much over. <laughs> These guys will be leaving to their new homes in a few weeks. We're almost done. It's sad. This is Run. Run's doing yeah. really good. Look at that cute little bean head. Cutie. And when we're done, we'll check their collars. Angus, you and Nash have been checking them, right? Mm-hmm. That's good. You having fun, boy? You having fun? You having fun? Oh, me too. My favorite. Yeah, I think so. He's pretty cute. He was like cute. light blue, though. He's cute for boys. Okay, next. Hey, you know what? Somebody taught me in one of our viewers. They said this is called a TB syringe. You know why? Mm -mm. It's You know how tiny it is? Uh -huh. They use it when they do TB tests, which is where they inject a tiny bit of stuff under your skin and make a little bubble. And then that's a TB test. If you react, you've got TB. There you go. What is he barking at? The pigs. Brumby! Brumby, come here, boy! Come on, Brumby. Come here, Brumby. Come here, Brumby. Come here, Brumby. Come here comes Brumby. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, yes. Oh, you are wet. He was helping wash the car. Oh. Yeah, Brumby's helping wash the car. Brumby, you want to go play with the puppies? Yeah, Brumby, you want to go play with the puppies? Yeah, Brumby, you want to go play with the puppies? Yeah, Brumby, you want to go play with the puppies? 
Is this Brumby? Oh, no. Fern, be nice. Brumby, <laughs> Brumby, hi, boy. Fern, stop. Oh, He's fine. Fern. You be nice to Brumby. You be nice to Brumby. Hey, be nice. Be nice. Well, this one we've called There's Pan. a couple brown. Oh. That one I think we need hey, to loosen its collar. Hey, Fern, it's okay. It's just Brumby. All right. Fern, leave okay, him alone. One. Where is he? Oh, there he is. You're the last one, boy. You can... oh, You are dark blue. I like the little pink on his nose. Look at that. I know. Ooh. Come Thank on, open you. your mouth. There you go. You hold him onto the gate, I'm going onto the post. All right, now she put him all back. Okay, why don't you let him out? We'll let him explore for a little bit. Okay. Well, we found new friends. Hey, Fern. He's just playing sure with them. Oh. Like Rumby, do you have a new friend? I know, he looks like he's all scared. I think he is. She keeps growling at him. Fern, you're fine. Oh. Go play Rumby. with my shoes. Go play. Go play with them. Go play. Go play. I don't want to get in trouble. Come on, puppies. Come on, puppies. They don't want to leave mom yet. Come on, puppies. Come on, Brumby. Come on. And Brumby doesn't want to get in trouble. He's not real sure what to do with all those puppies. Come on, Brumby. Come down here, buddy, and you won't get in trouble. Come on. They want to play with you, Brumby. I know. He doesn't want to get in trouble from Fern. Come on. Let's go over here. Brumby, come on. Come on. They're sticking real close to home. This is when it gets fun. You can see who gets adventurous and who likes to play it safe. Fern, be nice to him. He's just playing. Good girl. Good girl, Fern. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Brumby doesn't know what to do. It's like, they're licking him. He's all wet. From Ren's down there washing the car, so he's all wet. They're licking him. That's funny. Brumby, you have new friends, buddy. You can do a Brumby jump. Show me your Brumby jump. Like if they were just a little bit older. You could run and play. Although they're real soon here. They'll be chasing him down. It's funny how they're licking him clean. thinks he's missing out and wants to get back in. Doesn't realize nobody's even in there. Puppy, you're not alone. We're all out here. Hey, we're all out here. You don't need to whine, homebody. Look at that. They want to get back to their safe, secure home. What's wrong, pup? You want back in there? heard puppies over here. Oh, Fern, be nice. Oh, here they are. Look at They found the cool dirt. This is where the cool puppies go. Nice, damp dirt. Hey, puppies. Puppy, puppy, puppies. Hey. It's warmer today. Upper 70s, I'd say. So this is a good spot to hang out. Hey. Does that feel good? Oh, and they're even digging in it, making it cooler than it already is. Oh, yeah. That feels good. Laying on the cool dirt. Big pile of puppies over there. You are a friendly one. I don't know who you are, but you're friendly. Thank you.
These pigs are loud. Very. Alright. Oh no, you can throw that wherever. You can yeah. This is a bonus treat. They've already been fed today. You'd never know it. Oh man, mashed potatoes on your back. Gross. These mashed potatoes have been that out on the grass, the chickens will eat the rest. And then we get to do the kind of a fun surprise bucket from the grocery store. Oh, yeah. It's kind of fun to see what's in there. All right, we're in, we'll look that up, babe. Yeah, she'll like the mashed potatoes. Yeah. All right. That's cool. What do we get today? Ooh, Ooh they're lettuce. gonna love that. Tons of lettuce. That's good. Look at this. It looks fresh too. I know it doesn't even look that bad. So once you you can drag it over there closer and just start throwing it in there, but just always go slow so you can check for like the little ties and stuff. Yeah. You want me to help you yes. Yes. Well, yeah, there you go, a granola bar wrapper. <laughs> well, I keep thinking I'm going to find like bugs or something in it. Uh, no, that's pretty fresh. That's right from the grocery store. All right. Uh, sure, Ed. Don't dump the whole thing. Just throw, oh. sec throw sections so you can check it. Oh, happiness. Go get go get your food. Your special treats. They're all muddy. They've got themselves a little mud hole over here. Ren's gonna bad. try to change it. Oh yeah. Big bag of salad. Like disgusting. Sometimes those are hard to open. You might have to wait for scissors. Brumby, it, Brumby will try it. Brumby, no. Leave it. Good job. Apple. They're debating do they want the food or do they want. Oh, yeah. Good, good find there. That was Diana. She's going to run away with her apple. Look at, look at Diana run away with her apple. Oh, yeah, throw another one there. Oh. <laughs> Everybody else got one. I think these guys. Oh. There goes Nellie or, or Gil, whoever it is, running away with the apple. Go for the apple run. Don't let anybody steal your apple. All right, should I just jump the rest of it? Only if you check through it. It looks just like all old fruit. Oh, back for more. Yep, it's just That was a quick old apple. Old okay, as long as it doesn't have any stuff on, stuff on it. Oh man, they're gonna be happy. Ooh, tomatoes. Oh, they yeah. love tomatoes. Oh, they get the peppers that they love. Yep. All right, let's see if we're gonna Fighting over something. Get that apple. Get it. Oh, get it. Get the apple. You gotta chew what's in your mouth first. Better hurry. Better hurry. Oh, you're just gonna be polite and take bites. Back and forth. It's okay. It didn't work. What is it? It's just the paint that came off of the oh. bag. I can't believe it. There's an apple sitting there. Nobody's got it. Mashed potatoes on your back. I guess when there's too many other good things, you skip the apple. Oh, a pear. A tasty pear. I know. It's so gross the way they eat. I love the way Diana it, will trot over there. They just consume everything. No cares about cores and seeds and ugh. Well, I guess they're pigs. They are pigs. Has a new meaning since I've seen it in person. Man, you're messy. Look how messy they are. <laughs> I think Diana was in the mud hole over there. I think so too. <laughs> See if they like bell peppers. Looks like they do. Ren's giving them a new spot for their water because they're making a mud pit over here. We'll go back to the corner. It'll become a mud pit too. Run, run, run. Oh boy, run really far. 
so you can enjoy your fruit alone. She just came back to flaunt her fruit and she's gonna go drink with it in her mouth. Oh, see, look at that. And here we go, another run. Far, far away to enjoy her apple. Goofy girls. Already, it's like they're all happy. Yep, that was a good snack. Go in and get ready for spring play. Okay, all the puppies are back in the cool part. Puppy, puppy, puppies, where are you? I see three. Where's everybody else? Oh. Four, five, six, seven. They're really loving this cold dirt back here. Oh, back behind there. We got another one. Hey, puppies. I think we'll just let them hang out for a bit. Oh, there's another one. I spy puppy number eight or nine. Oh, yeah. That's a cute little puppy face hiding back there. They're just enjoying the cool dirt fin, so I think we'll just let them hang out up here for a while. Let them enjoy it. We'll put them back later. Elaine can help us since she loves them. Yep, yeah, Elaine can come help. Good point. Poor Fern. She thought she was getting a break. Here's the drawback of letting all the puppies free. Is she can't get away. She's being pretty patient. Letting them all get a quick nursing in. And I'm sure when she's fed up, she'll just take off. She's a good mama. Good girl, Fern. She's your good girl. Thanks for watching our channel. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. We're so thankful for all of your support, all of your comments, uh, all your prayers. Um, we're having a good time filming these episodes. So I hope you're enjoying them too. The grandkids have made it more fun. Oh, way more fun. Well, that's fun anyway, but it, it, it's, it's fun. Yep, the puppies are doing well. Um, just about ready to post those and they'll start leaving in the next few weeks, which is bittersweet. It's doing a lot of life calls, really. We had one with some rabbits that were Way too early and they kept them too long so they came in pretty cold i think we uh, said that so. last time but it's okay well anyway anyway i think they were just getting here last time but it well actually you guys might have done a wrap up who knows so still no wildlife but it'll be coming pretty soon it'll be a flood it's, it's how it always yep. is so but baby goats any day um their how do you utters, know that? because know. their udders have gotten well on one of them her udder is huge huge and like hard <laughs> so i'm thinking maybe tonight or tomorrow we'll see she thinks she's a goat whisperer. That's no, good. This that's... reminds me of a good joke. It's not. It's too early, but I'll go ahead and tell it. Oh, okay. So, Lori's joke or predictions of goat birth things and baby birth things is utterly ridiculous. Oh. I was trying to think of something like that. Good, huh? good pun. That's, that's, yeah. that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, I have kind of a new announcement. You probably don't even know the all about this yet because it's still in You're the pregnant? works. I wish I was pregnant, but oh, I'm not. I don't know about that one. No, this is Patreon, and oh, you probably similar. know all about Patreon. Many of you are so familiar with YouTube, but Patreon's gonna be new to us, and we're super excited because it's an opportunity for us to get to know you guys better. True. Nash needs to bend down here and scratch Try something on his leg. Pause for a second. As as possible. There. Maybe he has a tick or something. Anyway, Patreon is coming probably in the next week or so, and um, tons of benefits for you guys. Uh, like t-shirts, um, private Zoom calls. The one I'm most excited about is going to be a private Facebook community just between our family and the patrons. And that's an opportunity for us to share other details about our family, not the farm details, but a lot of things you guys ask about, like the kids playing music and singing or Aaron's carving, a lot of things like that we're not really able to share on the channel because it 
does weird Screws things up the with uh, the, the algorithm. The algorithms. Yeah. And I don't even understand it all. I just know we no. need to stay focused on our channel on farm and rescue. So yep. uh, we will let you know when that goes live, but it's coming and we're super excited. And a benefit for you, actually I messed that up. What's I wanted benefit? you to do your part. About the wildlife? Yes. Well, yeah, so the, the wildlife is, I mean, it's very costly um, every year. And so having some help is, is awesome. Um, and some people, some people, when they deliver the animals, will you know they'll donate some money and kind of help out because the food's expensive, the care is expensive. Um, but it's it's okay. We've done it for years, and I'm not going to quit no matter what. So, but the more we have, and with the kids, it's, we do need some new cages. Uh, the cages start to rot after a while, and it's about they're about 1,200 each if we do it right. We have to trench them on the outside so they, they can't dig out of it. And decent wire and good wood, and you know things inside the cages that help the animals, you know, kind of acclimate a little better for when they're back in the wild again. So. Yeah, it'd be neat to have a costly. bigger cage this year for the deer, so they're not in the small. For, yeah, for the short period of time, right? Yeah, they don't need to be Yeah, just kind of a next step before they go fully free. Yep, that's good. So that's coming. What are you thankful for? Uh, this is kind of a weird one. Um, so did you already tell them how you met somebody the other day that recognized your no, voice? No, I didn't. So do you want to tell it now? No, you can tell. So I'm just thankful because even like she just mentioned with the whole Patreon thing, I don't necessarily understand what she's talking about. But um, they were at uh, McDonald's uh -huh. the other day and she was talking to the kids and some lady came up and just introduced herself and just started talking to her because she recognized her voice from the channel. Um, and of course, when she saw her, she also knew who she was and she asked if Angus and Finn were there, and it's it's kind of cool just because we wouldn't have met, you know, her, and you know, in, in theory, other people eventually in the community. I mean, we, you know, we know people, but it's just another way of getting to know more people and you know, just being friendly, and it's just, it was kind of cool. So that's it's never really happened. So, yeah. yeah, and everybody we've met through comments or in person through YouTube has just been wonderful. Yeah, we're so thankful that um, Grandma and Grandpa Doss got us into this because it's been a huge blessing for us too. We've, we've lived in this area for a long time, about 25 years, and it's a super nice area to live in because there's a lot of nice people. But there's also a lot of nice people all over the United States mm -hmm. and the world for that matter, but the United States. So it's just kind of cool to connect with some outside of this community. Because I know a lot of people don't necessarily live in the best community or in an area where they'd like to have you know animals or the experiences that God's allowed us to have for now. So it's cool to share them. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great week. <laughs>